2023 BMW XM60 First Drive Review. Great car, but what's the advantage? There's a lot to like about the BMW X, but none of it is exclusive to the range topping M60. At $106095, including $995 for destination, the new BMW XM60 is $21900 more expensive than the standard X-Drive. That extra cash gets you more power, a stiffer suspension, and a longer list of standard equipment. Sounds good in theory. But is it worth it? Sadly, no. The M60 shares the same basic architecture and drive it train as the X Drive. Underneath its lightweight composite space frame is a 111.5 kWh lithium ion battery pack, of which 106.3 kWh is actually usable. A pair of electric motors distribute power to each axle, and combined, the XM60 produces 532 horsepower and 749 pound-feet of torque, though 811 L beef is available for brief bursts during hard launches. BMW estimates the XM60 will accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds which is pretty darn quick for an exercised SUV weighing 5,769 pounds. For perspective, the X-Drive offers 516 horsepower and 564 L beefed and can hit 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. There's an 0.8 second gap between those two 0 to 6 0 times, but think about it. All EVs feel quick. The thrill of instant electric torque makes launching an electric car exciting no matter how much power is on tap. The XM60 isn't so much quicker than the X-Drive that it radically changes the whole experience. And that's true for both off the line and at speed acceleration. The trade-off for that extra power is reduced range. The EPS says a 2023 XM60 with its base 21-inch wheels can travel 288 miles per charge, while a 2022 X drive with 21s will do 305 miles. Also, you can get the X drive with even smaller 20-inch wheels, resulting in an EP estimated 3 to 4 mile range. Of course, the jumps between these figures likely won't make too much of a difference in the real world, especially if you have a level 2 charger installed at home. Don't forget, the X is also capable of 195 kilowatts DC fast charging, which allows you to take advantage of the most powerful level 3 stations. BMW says the XM60 has a stiffer suspension tune than the X-Drive, but without driving the two electric subs back to back, I can't say I notice a difference. The XM60 feels exactly like the X Drive I tested in Germany last fall. And while you might be able to notice the changes during hard driving, that's not really a genuine use case for a large electric SUV. But that's not a dig against the XM60. On German highways and cobbled city streets alike, the M60 standard dual-axle air suspension admirably soaks up road blemishes while delivering a solid, composed ride. Even on its largest 22 inches wheels, the X is extremely comfortable, with weighty steering the squircle wheel is weird and very little body roll in corners. The M60 is nice to drive just like the X-Drive. The M60's other distinguishing characteristics are either cosmetic or have to do with options and packaging. You'll notice some logos on the blue painted brake calipers, as well as extended use of the very awesome bronze trim. The aforementioned 22 inches wheels have the M6 Sarah specific design, and the black M badges on the body are killer. Because it's the top-tier model, the M60 comes standard with all the X's best goodies. Rear axle steering, park distance control, adaptive cruise control, a surround view camera, a Bowers and Wilkins stereo, power lift gate, and heated everything only scratch the surface of the M60 spec sheet.
Plus, you get all of the cool technologies that debuted on the XX Drive, including adaptive regenerative braking that changes based on traffic and GPS data, and those futuristic driving sounds composed by Hans Zimmer. Speaking of GPS data, onboard navigation is standard, part of his latest did Revate infotainment suite. It's all housed on a curved display that incorporates a 14.9-inch digital gauge cluster and 12.3-inch central touch screen. Idrivate looks a bit complicated at first. The whole Mimenu screen has a ton of little tiles, but it's easy to work through with just a bit of practice. Natural speech voice commands are accessed through the usual Hey! BMW Wake Up command and the company's gesture controls continue to be as annoying and useless as ever. But fully loaded as it is, the XM60 has a glaring omission. You can't buy one with the excellent microfiber and wool upholstery that's available on the XX Drive. All M60s come with leather or leatherette. This might not seem like a huge deal to you, but I can't imagine getting an X without this supremely comfortable greenish a bluish a grayish fabric. In a cabbing that's so light, airy, and design forward, with cool details like backlit open pour wood and glass controls, this unique treatment truly ties the room together. Pedantic interior design and preferences aside, there simply aren't enough advantages to warrant the jump to an XM60. There's certainly a precedent for this sort of thing among luxury subs, though. The BMW 5M costs $23300 more than the powered 5M 50 miles, and guess which one is the better all-around buy. Need more proof? Load up an X Drive with a sport exterior styling, 21-inch wheels, microfiber wool interior, and literally every option, and you're looking at one zero one six two zero dollars including destination. At that point, all you're getting for the remaining $4,475 is more power and less range. Does that seem worth it to you?